Cell phones, no hoodies, a strict ban now in place in all Flint community schools. But why? TV5's James Felton talked with the school's top administrator about why this decision was made to keep hoodies and cell phones out of the schools and to see just how this new policy is working. James. Meg David, Superintendent Kevin Jones tells me just a handful of students district-wide had to be reminded of the new policy as they returned from winter break yesterday. In those cases, cell phones were taken away until parents could retrieve them and hoodies were kept in the school office and returned to students at the end of the school day. We want more time given uh, to academics instead of, um, as it pertains to cell phones, focused on our cell phones, on social media and all those other things. That's why Flint Community Schools Superintendent Kevin Jones says a district-wide ban on cell phones and hoodies at school and on school buses is in place. We've had some safety issues with identity. Uh, this school district provides coats, uh, hats, gloves, scarves, and shoes to a uh, brand new uh, to any scholar that are that is in need. Uh, this is not something that we're throwing out there to parents that we have not discussed uh, and we have not provided uh, warmth or, or, or those resources needed. As TV5 reported earlier this school year at Flint Southwestern Classical Academy, a student threw a chair that hit and injured a teacher. In a separate instance, students arguing on social media resulted in a series of fights during a lockdown. But Jones says these events were not the sole reason for the cell phone and hoodie ban. Those incidents had something to do with us coming together to talk about uh, safety and talk about policy. Uh, but it's not the number one thing that caused us to sit down at the table. We've been at the table for several years now talking about safety. Jones says students can still wear sweatshirts, fleeces, sweaters, and jackets that don't have hoods. He knows not everyone agrees with this policy, and that's okay. Those that are saying that this is too much, this is, we're going too far, I would rather go too far to do what I can to keep scholars safe than to look at your news channel and see that we've had a tragedy uh, at our school. And Jones says this policy on cell phones and hoodies will remain in place indefinitely unless the school board decides to make changes.